Well, if you can see there, uh, getting the lambing started here, crazy livestock. It's oh, I've been going on for a few days now, but they're coming pretty fast. Um, I can't stress enough, you know, just don't bother them. Just don't mess with them. Um, I used to tag them. I thought that was important. But I tell you what, you can spend a lot of time. You get stuff, you, you just mess stuff up. You spend more time straightening it out. You tag the two kids and one runs off one way, one runs off the other way. The mom's trying to put them back together and you upset her. Um, I don't know. I just don't think it's worth it. Not for a commercial operation. Last time of the evening uh, to go out and check them when your day's just about done. Hope you don't have any problems you got to take care of uh, uh, in the evening. But if you do, at least you found it. Before morning, we're checking these. Uh, these are close to home here. I can run out here in the morning and I run out here in the evening. Check things out. Travis is <coughs> checking the ones up by his house. And we've got some that are a few miles away. They haven't really started yet. But um, when they do, we'll try to get there once a day, maybe. Um, we don't check them near so often. It depends where we're at, planting season and things. So. But uh, we're rolling right along. We don't have, oh, I don't know, a few hundred acres left of beans to plant. Um, just early because we, we haven't had any rain delays, which is good and bad. Now, this is real tempting to go over there and want to pick up that kid. See, so that nanny over there, I drove past her. She has one kid with her. And this other kid's over here by itself. And I have done that. I used to do that all the time, but now... I guess I've just got to where I trust my nannies more and she's looking at him there and she's not running off and I'm not going to mess with it because uh, like I said you're just going to upset things more than they're worth but once you get to trust in your nannies um, you can just kind of rely on that that's going to she's going to come over and take care of that kid bring it out on with him bed down for the night See, he's, she hears it. She's letting that other one nurse here for a minute. And I think as soon as I leave, she'll probably run over there to it. So, <clears throat> one kind of rule of thumb I use, if you're driving up to check one, like I wanted to see this one, I thought maybe she was laying down having trouble, but she was just laying down beside her kid. But don't drive right at them when you're trying to drive up on them. Drive a little to one side or the other. Um, keeps them from being so nervous. I mean, how would you like a car or motorcycle or something just coming right at you to look at you? You don't know if they're going to stop, run over you. You're trying to get out of the way. So just drive up from you know one side or the other side. And now I'm probably 30 feet away from her here. Um, and she's calm enough. She's staying with her kid. Now there's a mom with a kid behind her. She's actually got triplets. When I drove up there, took one and started walking off but she's coming back for him now after I drove away I just kind of accidentally come upon him a little too close didn't see him
So it's the kind of nannies you want. Takes a while when you start with sail barn stock. That's what I had like 20 years ago to end up with something that'll take care of their kids. It's a good feeling though. You know, I have to admit though, I really like the way you never find a lamb very far from its mom. You know, they don't take them off and hide them somewhere. They don't lay around all over the pasture. And it's just a little more comforting when you're out here checking them and you see them together. Okay, guys. Uh, this is a prime example of how you can mess things up when you think you're helping. So that kid that's sucking there, I had watched him earlier and I thought he belonged to a, a white doe. She wasn't paying much attention to him. And I took her, the kid over to the, the doe I thought belonged to. And she would kind of let him nuzzle around, but not let him suck. And uh, so I caught the doe. I got her in the four-wheeler box here. I tied her up, three-leg tied her. I used my dog to catch her. I really couldn't get a video of that as I was a little busy. So, and she's got one bigger tit that's not been sucked. So that's why I thought that kid wasn't getting any. And so this kid I've got here, he was sucking, but he was just sucking off that one side. But after I caught her, tied her up, put her in the four-wheeler, caught the kid, I'm looking to go get the other kid. And he's over there with his mom. She's taking care of him. Um, so yeah, it. Uh, I was just kind of messed things up. See, I sometimes think I spend too much time worrying about him or checking him, and uh, that's what'll happen. So he's going to be fine now. I guess since I've got this one tied up, I'll take her and her kid up. I'll milk that one side out. We'll have some extra colostrum if somebody else needs it around. And looks like I need to give her a little hoof trim in there too. Uh, so anyways, not quite done for the day. But I'm glad I didn't mess up and take that other kid in there. Messed up the apple cart. So I brought her in. Milked her out. That one side, got it down where that kid, hopefully he'll get on it. I'll check in the morning if, if he gets it kind of sucked down and everything. I'll probably just take her back out to pasture in the morning. But uh, there we go, you know. It, maybe that's just her way of telling me that she needed a toe trim. I don't know. Her toes were pretty long, but she wasn't limping. And I kind of got to deal with my goats. They can have as long a toes as they want, but if they can't raise a kid with them, then, uh, you know, they're going to have to find somewhere else to live. But that, uh, that deal is null and void. If i got to catch them for anything else and i got them in my clutches, then I'm going to trim them uh, if, they, if they need it. Hers were really bad. So there you go, that's what you get though when you're messing up stuff, checking them too close. Hope your kitten season's going well or it's probably already over and went well.